Now this guy, Food Bra, the only reason I got this information about him and the only reason I know that nerds have more fear than anybody on the earth is because he posted hours and hours and hours, and it wasn't until his, what, 700th hour of nonsense until we find out this striking piece of information. Now, he reviews fast food restaurants. He's going to review Denny's in this clip. Not Nick DiPaolo. That was, um, not Nick DiPaolo. Somebody else. He hates food picks. You hear this from old people. I hate food picks. You know, that's something that a fool would say. Um, so this is review bra. He's going to usually reviews Denny's, or he usually reviews like Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King. Like he'll go and get the new taco fries, stuff like that. But this is his Denny's review, and it's going to teach you a lot about nerds. Here it is. It's a shot of the moon and some terrible sounds. Denny's Diner. Another shot of Denny's sign. It's a little overexposed. Here he is. Denny's, it's one of those places, admittedly, that I've, I've never been to before until tonight. That's just the fact of the matter. I've never been there. Never been to a Denny's. I've had the urge to go to a Denny's every so often, but I've always dismissed it. Listen. Now, up until around two years ago, I never had a Denny's really in my area. I lived up in New York, okay. and uh, there just there just wasn't one nearby. I mean, that's just how it was. I was just the layout of the land, and I would see commercials for it, and I would hear about Denny's, um, but I've never, I've, never, I've never been to one. And for those of you who don't know what Denny's is, um, Denny's is a 24-hour, for the most part, chain restaurant that's like a diner. You know, they'll serve a little bit of everything. You can get burgers, you can get sandwiches, you can get breakfast food, you can get drinks, you can get ice cream, coffee, etc. And uh, it's just like a standard little, you know, diner type of restaurant. And they're open 24 hours, and uh, it had always intrigued me. I'd see the commercials for it, but I've never, you know, I never even had the yeah, chance. It's 100% serious. This isn't a bit. It's so always intrigued him, but he's never gone. Why hasn't he gone? You know, because as a kid, I mean, I grew up at Denny's. When I was a kid, Denny's was lit. That's where the bad kids went. Denny's let kids smoke. And that's why we went there. When I was a kid, Denny's had a smoking section the size of the entire place. And what you would do is if you were 14, you would go over there with your 17-year-old friends and everybody, it would all be teens taking up every booth at Denny's. And what did we do? We ordered one cup of coffee and we smoked and smoked and smoked all throughout the night. Then maybe we would order, you know what I used to get? People are going to think this is crazy. The Hamburger Club. Oh, did I love the Hamburger Club. Now, uh... Um, that was at IHOP, actually. Sorry. That was definitely at IHOP. But same story. The Hamburger Club. It was a club sandwich, but instead of lettuce, bacon, and tomato, it would be just a burger and bacon and ketchup and mustard. And I'm telling you, it was delicious. Back then. Now I'm sure it's awful. But, man, I would eat that hamburger club, treat the waiter like scum all night. We'd have our laptops out. We'd be gaming. Just kidding. Uh, but we would be smoking. We would be having a, a very fun time. And that was where you went. There was no Internet. There were no cell phones. You know, there was nothing to do. If you wanted to hang out and just smoke all night with a bunch of people, just one cup of coffee, it was like a dollar, maybe 89 cents. That's all it cost. Got to hang out and smoke all night with a bunch of freaks, a bunch of goths. Just kidding. It did turn into that. You know, there were surely some Denny's where you would go, ooh, Perkins was the worst. Go to a Perkins. Terrible out there. Yeah, there were some Denny's that would be all goths. Some Denny's would be all gangsters. 
some Denny's. It would be punk rockers. You never knew. And it was always fun to go to a different Denny's in a different town to experience the shit and creeps that they had. But it would all be kids. It's where we'd hang out. I mean, where does everyone, like, let's say you're 15. Where are you going to hang out all night till 4 a.m. with all your friends? You know, it, nobody's parents would allow something like that. You're not going to get a hotel. So you all go to IHOP and treat it as your living room. That's what we did. Now, this kid, I haven't been to a Denny's in years. Who would? You got to be nuts. Uh, this kid has seen Denny's. He's been intrigued by Denny's. But listen to this. Listen to his take on Denny's. You're going to be shocked. To get to one first and foremost. <laughs> some, some Denny's were 100% Italian mafiosos talking peapod. Yeah, nope. That never happened. Most Denny's were the shittiest kids. If you smoked. Hey, do you know how to steal your mom's Salem's? Denny's is for you. Around 2013 or so, that's when my fear started. And His fear? I had a, you know, I was scared of Denny's. Scared of for Denny's? For a long time, up until this very day, as a matter of fact. So I'm watching this, I'm going, what the fuck is he going to say? You were scared of Denny's? Meanwhile, you're like the creepiest fucking scary thing I've ever seen. Most people... Watching this, now I'm not scared of him. I know he's a great guy. But most people watching you, they would think you're a fucking serial killer. They would. That's just what you look like. I mean, if, I mean, the chairs he's sitting in, I mean, this guy, I mean, he's dressed. Seriously, if I was at a store and this guy came in, I'd go, okay, there's like a good chance we're losing our lives tonight. This is the kind of guy who does stuff like that. So I can't imagine what what he's scared of. And then he says Denny's, and I go, wait, wait, wait. And the house quieted down. And I tuned in, you know, I was listening like I've never listened before. And then I heard this. Because, like it or not, there was a fad, um, very short-lived, but around 2012, 2013 or so, you would see all these videos on YouTube start popping up of all these fights that would happen at Denny's, of all things. What? Um, fights at Denny's? And, and it was a mesmerizing thing, but it kind of scared me of the place. You know, I'd be sitting there watching these videos on YouTube, um, like uh, the great Halloween brawl of uh, 2012, I think it was. Okay, so I looked this up. Apparently, what he's talking about is he found some YouTube videos where, like, black people fight at Denny's. And there weren't that many of them. It wasn't a fad. It wasn't something that plagued the Denny's brand. It was literally three to five videos labeled Denny's Fights. I mean, you could really, like, take any restaurant name and put that in and put the word fights in and find videos. So what he's talking about is the great Halloween brawl of 2013. It was like black people threw plates and trashed the place. Yeah, if you want to pull that up, you can. But he saw this, and he's had a fear of Denny's ever since. Because he thinks that if you go there, it's just going to be a brawl. That's some nerd thinking. Listen to him explain. We had people uh, destroying the, 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 the entire restaurant, and one video after the other, and it seemed like Denny's was this terrible place to be. I mean, it seemed like... <laughs> it seemed like Denny's was this terrible place to be. Does Denny's know... That people saw, like, a video, World Star, of black people fighting, and it made them go, wow, Denny's, you stay away, man. That shit is cursed. Here's the video he's talking about. Oh, yeah. They're throwing chairs. They're all in Halloween cut. They're trashing the Denny's. They're destroying it. They're throwing things. Creamers are going everywhere. And it's literally black people destroying Denny's. Um, so he saw this in his mind. This is what goes on at Denny's? Boy, I don't need a hamburger that bad. Now, notice he always says hamburger instead of cheeseburger. That lets me know that I'm a lot more like this guy than I knew. You know, uh, I'm a hamburger guy. 
I am not a cheeseburger guy. I think cheese on a burger is for silly people who are addicted to childish, yummy, you know, behavior. But that might come from cheese making me feel nauseous. Okay, so I don't blame you. If I ate cheese and it actually tasted good to me, oh, yeah, I would want cheese on everything. But I think putting cheese onto things is kind of a childish activity. It's for people who want more. They need it all. Would you ever put cheese on a steak? Oh, a Philly cheesesteak? Are you kidding me? Yeah, Philly, Philly cheesesteaks are disgusting. They're dry, they're disgusting, and they're filled with cheese. I don't like cheese. That doesn't mean you're wrong. If you really like that stuff, fine. It seems disgusting to me. I tried it again the other day, a block of cheese. It's gross. <laughs> uh, but he always says hamburger. Most people, their go-to is cheeseburger. How do I know this? Because every time I order burgers online, half the time they come as cheeseburgers. Because people, some people, it's not even in their They don't have a... Oh, a hamburger, that comes with cheese. He wants the cheeseburger. No, no, no. So now I write no cheese in capital letters with an exclamation point. Every time. And still comes back screwed up. That's a big, it's impossible to get off these days. People say pick it off. You can't. Try picking off the cheese of a McDonald's double hamburger. It's impossible. You can't get it off. I've tried. Mayo, that's another sickening topping for a burger. Mayo and cheese. To me, you know, it must be how Kumia feels about black people. May I, like, that's how I feel about people who have mayo and cheese on their burger. I know that's not even... People are going, Mike, man, people... So many people eat mayo and cheese on their burgers, dude. Yeah, I know. It sickens me. But this guy, he also... Reminds me of myself because he gets very mad at very petty things that fast food places do. I mean, we're talking about a $4 menu item. But yeah, what were you thinking? You know, and he gets furious when like McDonald's, he gets nuggets or something and they're all soft. And you go, what are you thinking? This isn't how it's supposed to be desired, Mickey D's. And I appreciate somebody sticking up for those little things. But you'll notice he refers to burgers as hamburgers. That's old school. That's classic. How many hamburgers could you eat? I don't know. I could eat a ton. In fact, wouldn't I think we should have a hamburger eating competition on this show. Not tonight. Not tonight. I'm on a health kick. But uh, years from now, I would like to show you, I believe that I could eat 15, no, I'll, I could eat 20 McDonald's double hamburgers. Is that a lot? How about we do a thing where every month we see how many hamburgers I could eat? That sounds fun, but I could. I, uh, I love hamburgers. Double hamburgers. Okay, let's listen to more about this fear that you wouldn't really know about unless a guy like this admitted to it. It's a terrible place to, you know, like a fight club or something. And, uh, and you know, as a result, I was always, I was always nervous to go there. I remember back in 2015, you know, I was sitting there in the parking lot of one. Listen. Um, once, and I was kind of thinking, you know, I want to try out Denny's a little bit, but I was nervous. I had that fear. I was and nervous. I was nervous, admittedly, and... I think like many of us at one point or another, we have a fear and we don't necessarily want to face it uh, at that point in time. And I was, you know, I was that person. I didn't want to, I didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to go there. I was, guy, uh, listen, I didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to go there. This is important information to the Denny's Corporation. Somebody says in the chat, Mike, um, I bet Mike eats hot dogs sideways like corn. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Uh, I should try that. I bet Mike, huh, bothers me that he bets, you know, that he's so sure of that. Why? Uh, I don't, okay, here, Skullhead Bony Hands. I want to give this guy a prize. Cutest comment of the night. Mike, I don't think you could eat 20, Mike. 
That's a lot of hamburgers. We loved your comment. Um, I want to give him something special. So you work that out with him. His name is Skullhead Bony Hands. I want to hook him up with a lot of cash prizes. Uh, in and out is greater than five guys, someone says. That's cool. Um, imagine thinking Denny's is some sort of fight club. Yeah, okay, cool. You like the content? Glad you guys are uh, liking the stuff I picked out for you today. Uh, here's this one. How would this guy deal with the blacks? So I don't know. Maybe he is afraid of black people. I think a lot of people are afraid of black people. You know? Denny's is like a brothel, someone says. He needs a pen protector for his pocket. That's funny. This kid probably gets punched often. Come on, guys. Keep the physical violence out of the talk shows. I trust this man, someone says. The only reason I would go to Denny's is the possibility of a fight, someone says. Yeah, that's what I like, too. Um, I don't understand. I've never understood the people who don't like witnessing other people's fights. Like, isn't this the whole point of a movie? It's to witness a fight. If it's not, then you tell me what I just watched for the last 30 years of my life, because it's all fights. Every fucking movie is a fight. Uh, Mike eating a hot dog. Jules next drawing. Okay. I told Jules if she ever draws me, she won't be able to draw ever again. Uh, is there going to be a Jules Comet Award like last week? I don't know. It's up to her. She's got her own mind. And women are people too. Uh, 50 Wangs, double hamburgers versus double stacks. It's a good question. It's tough. Uh, the double stack, of course, is from Wendell's. And the double hamburgers from Mickey D's. Now, these could both be delicious and they could both be vile. If you catch one of these fresh from either restaurants, it's a delight. But if you catch a dry old one, it's shit. Um, the double stack used to be my go-to. You know, I believe Wendy's builds their little restaurants where they know kids are hanging out. You know, everyone I talk to, they go, yeah, we had a Wendy's right by our school. And I go, hmm, that's interesting. When I grew up, we had a Wendy's. They had somehow built it right in the right place where all the surrounding neighborhood kids could, could get to. I mean, my whole childhood was double stacks. hi yeah, yeah, two double stacks! Fries! Screaming through that window. And by the time I was done with the last syllable, that bag was hanging out for me on that second window. And I go, how the fuck? And then I'd floor it. I did this thing when I was a kid. I would take my mom's minivan. It was a V6 Voyager. This is right when I first started to drive before you have your own car. Got my mom's uh, forest green Plymouth Voyager. Is that the van? Minivan. V6. This thing had torque. And I would do that thing where you, uh, what do they call that, a... Uh, Man, there was a term for it. You would hold your foot on the brake and rev the engine as hard as you could and then let off the brake and the car went... <laughs> oh, it was great. What was that called? Brake torque. Was that what it's called? What was that called? And so I had this scam, or not a scam, I mean a little stunt that I would do for my friends where we would order something from the drive through we would wait at that first window. And at Wendy's, they were known for holding the bag out. They would always, um, not a burnout, not a peel out. Come on, guys. Not a peel out. This was called something special. Not launching. Brake torque two. Uh, they would hold it out. I would actually floor the minivan and grab that bag out of their hand and speed off. <laughs> you could get away with that stuff. This was before anyone could afford to put up a camera anywhere. You could really do stunts all over the city, and we did. Another one of my big ones was I would fly about 70 miles an hour, and right when I got to the middle of an intersection with, you'd have, you know, two sides would be at stoplights, cars lined up, I'd get to that intersection, I'd whip that e-brake, cut the wheel, 
the car would spin through the intersection to the other side. People would, all sorts of people would be sitting there applauding my stunts. Uh, that's the kind of kid I was. So I can't imagine fearing a Wendy's. Wendy's feared me. They saw me coming. They go, oh, fuck. Can we close? Nope. We're 24 hours. Hide the creamers. Because this guy is flinging them across the place. Um, let's hear a little bit more about how nerds interpret the world. I'm worried about all the videos I had seen of all the the fights and nefarious activities going on at the good old Denny's. And uh, I, was too, I was too nervous. Gave that up. Everything changed tonight. Listen to this. Last night. Everything changed. A couple hours ago. It's positive. When I was hungry. I think we all know my schedule at this point. I'm a, you know, I'm a real night owl. Uh, I'm up at night. That's sleep during creepy. the day a lot. I'm up at night. I sleep during the day a lot. I didn't know young nerds did that. That's creepy. What's going on? You know, you're scaring a lot of people out there. And when you wake up in the middle of the night and you're hungry, I mean, how much, you know, is there really a ton of fast food out? Not necessarily. You can make something at home, but sometimes you're sitting there, you're saying, you know, God, I just want a cheeseburger or something. And, you know, you're hungry and... I mean, what can you get at 3 a.m., really? Yeah, There's true. McDonald's. Those are all open 24 hours uh, around here, but it's hit or miss. Uh, there's some He's that are that good, right. but there's some that aren't. And, you know, sometimes you get sick of eating these little frozen um, frozen little wafers of meat that they put on their burger. And, you know, you want something better than that. Wendy's or Burger King, unfortunately, there aren't any real 24-hour ones. Taco Bell is open late, but not open at 3 a.m., unfortunately. Um, it is unfortunate. There's Del Taco. They're open 24 hours. And I've, you know, I've been there a few times lately, but uh, when you go there all the time, you sometimes still want to diversify it a little bit and have something. You know who loved Del Taco? Do you guys know Del Taco? It's on the West Coast. Patrick Melton. Ooh, did he love Del Taco. He would go there. You know, when Patrick Melton lived in Burbank, Los Angeles, that was his prime. I mean, because he had the choice of so much 24-hour late-night fast food, and would he dine? I'll never forget when Cameron Malik and I went to L.A., we did what's called the burger tour. We went to Del Taco. We got their burger. It was shit. We went everywhere. I wanted to test out all the burgers. We saw how many we'd eat. We ate and we ate and we ate. You know, Cameron filled up before me, which a lot of people can't believe. He was sick of burgers. I said, come on. We got more burgers to try. Burger tour. Uh, but Patrick, ooh, did Patrick love Del Taco? He would get eight tacos, a couple burgers, some fries, sauces, dips. Josh Denny loved that as well. <laughs> uh, these guys love that. You know, California is the prime. This is warm all night. Doesn't feel like anything. You go out, eat all night. And that's how these guys get so big. And Steak and Shake, they got burgers too. Oh, but, yeah. You know, again, I've, I've, I've been there a lot lately as well, so that's kind of out of the question too. I thought to myself, well, there's Denny's. There's Denny's. So I started researching it a little bit. Researching Denny's. And I started thinking, well, the odds that something's going to happen are slim to none. Imagine I mean, thinking as a matter that, of fact, you know, imagine thinking like, I want to go to Denny's, but man, I don't want to risk my life doing so. And then really going, well, the odds of something happening, Mike, <sighs> I'm going to try it. I mean, I couldn't believe that fear existed. I believe him. I don't think he's putting on a show. So how many other people have fear? How many other people are out there that we don't even know about afraid to go to certain restaurants? I didn't know that was an option of fear. In fact, there was a steak and shake that I, I frequent um, late at night. And uh, a couple couple weeks ago, someone got, I think they got killed in the parking lot there. You know, at wow. least they got shot up. And I still find myself going to that place with, with you know, nothing to fear. 
So I was thinking about that, and I was thinking, well, you know, I've been to that Steak and Shake. I go there. I go there during that exact hour. Nothing's happened to me. As a matter of fact, it was nice and quiet. Nice, quiet parking lot. That's fine. Nice, so maybe quiet parking get... lot. To me, that's my fear. Why is this parking lot fucking quiet? I don't want to go to a nice, quiet parking lot. I, that's like my nightmare. This guy finds solace in a nice, quiet parking lot. You know, that's another thing I never considered would be something that somebody would would think about. You know, so watching these nerds, I learn a lot. Give Denny's a try. I mean, I've never even been there before, so maybe I should just give it a go. Give it a yeah, shot. Yeah, we all like this and, guy. You know, He's see great. what it's all about. I could have these thoughts, but until I've actually been there, seen what the establishment is like, and even tried the food, it's just my mind running wild one way or another. I started researching it a little bit. I found out that they had online ordering, and that's when it really changed. I said, huh? Online ordering means I can just order it, get it to go. I could go in there, just check the place out, see, yeah, yeah it's not bad, or say, oh. So you found a little loophole there, so you are still a little scared. The only reason you, you know, you didn't really get over your fear, you found out that they have online ordering, so now you get a shorter going real quick, get the food and get the hell out of there. The whole point of Denny's is you sit for hours and hours. The atmosphere at Denny's is why I pay two ninety nine for breakfast. It's chill. It's green. It's gold. I think. I don't know. Is it still green and gold? When I used to go there, I think the booths were a nice green fake leather. It's nice. And uh, you know, then call it a day. But I thought to myself, well, online ordering. All right, I'm going to do it. So I ordered a hamburger. Hamburger. A double hamburger. Ooh, double hamburger. That's what with I lettuce, get. lettuce, tomato, ketchup. Oh. I uh, got myself some seasoned fries, too. And a chocolate shake. Ooh, uh, old school. That's what it was, a chocolate shake. That is traditional. So I go over there, you know, 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m. I was surprised. This is the ideal example of when your mind gives you bad thoughts about something. What? Where you imagine this place. You're going there, and your mind, the way it pictures it, you know, you think that there's going to be, you know, it's going to be filthy, it's going to be crowded, it's going to be like in the movies where, you know, they, they show the stereotypical seedy bar, you know, where you have people no, fighting on the people... floor or something. No, I don't know. Oh. I go over there, the place is, there's no one there, there's just, um, there's just the waitress there at the counter, the, the cook in the back. Yeah, of course. Um, and just a police officer reading the newspaper there, and that was it. It's well, quiet, the cop there, there, you're safe. Calm. And, uh, I go in there, it's fine, I got my food paid, uh, it cost me around ten bucks for the burger, which I thought was a little pricey, admittedly, but, you know, maybe I thought, well, it's, maybe it'll be restaurant quality, it'll be fine. And from that, film the sign there. You can saw that at the beginning there. I pack it up, head back here. <laughs> you might be curious, well, what does the burger look like exactly? I mean, what did, you know, what did you get? Well, I had that into consideration. I thought, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to film the burger. And filmed it, I did. So now you can sit back, relax, uh, grab yourself some popcorn, a Monster Energy drink. Oh, no. Even another burger. No, what? And uh, enjoy a nice little interlude <laughs> of burger. the burger I got from Denny's. Let's see this. I didn't get to this part. I started watching Denny's brawls by this one. <laughs> I tuned out. Oh, my God. All right, so here's my meal sitting in my lap. I was hungry, so I got a burger and some of their seasoned fries as well. So you can see what the seasoned fries look good. like. Uh, there they are. We will turn this around to showcase the burger. That's what the burger looks like. You can see it right there. Okay. Looks a little bit more like a veggie burger. I don't know. Well, that's the review bra guy. And you should watch him. I mean, he's a little much. They're a little long, too. Oh, 